Hi, my name is Mark Torres. I'm 32 years old and I'm a self-taught artist painter. And I'm here to tell you more about um, my, my inspirations and especially my art. If I had to describe my art in three words, it would be unfiltered, emotional, and inspirational. That, that, that's a very good question. Uh, I would like to inspire everybody. But if not, I would like to inspire those who are going through hardships in life, whether it's a relationship problem, breakup, um, loss of a job, or they actually people that have lost somebody. I feel like people need daily inspirations and I hopefully that people that do view my work um, have, um, you know, uh, that positivity to keep moving forward. And, and that's all about my, my mission as an artist is to reach those people that are in need who feel like they're, they're, they're alone and I want them to feel like they're not, you know? I think the cliche way to say this is that artists is subjective. Um, that's what everybody says, right? But it is kind of true. I mean, some people love complexity. Some people like minimalism. And that's fine. And that's why I feel like um, more artists need to be more appreciated about their artwork. Because it takes time. It takes effort. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody in their occupation would love to be appreciated for what they do. And uh, I feel the same way for me. But it's not gonna ruin me. You just gotta keep on going because it's all about the journey till the end. And one more thing is that art it has stood the test of time from the Renaissance to now to, com to contemporary you know, and now it's digital. So either way you look at it, art is life. It's created from a soul into a canvas or, you know, a sculpture or anything that's created. How would I describe myself? Well, number one, I'm down to earth. You speak to me, you know, very lively, very funny, you know? Um, I wanna make this part of my life where I wanna be there for the ones I love. Or, you know, if we're just even acquaintances, because people need um, sometimes someone to talk to and people are ashamed to go to someone and say, hey, uh, I need help. And I wanna be that for, for someone whether we talked yesterday or two years ago. I wanna be I wanna be there. Cause I would I would want the same way because sometimes life can be lonely and I wanna be a part of my life where I wanna be there for someone. I'm very emotional also. I've gone through a lot of things in my life, experienced a lot of things where um it's even hard for me to think about those things because it, it's just a distance so far away. And um, the only way for me to turn those negative feelings around is the things behind me, um, art. If my life were a book, it would be called, um, pretty hard <laughs> um, 
to simply be the artist. So basically how the Instagram um, art series came up, the subway series came up, is that uh, I always took the train to work and basically I was bored um, on the on the train ride. So I started to like pick people off, started drawing them, not really seriously, but the way I saw. I mean, I had only like a few seconds because, you know, people get up right away. So I had to draw them fast. and. Um, and then I started to like listen to people, the conversations. Uh, I know that's bad, that's eavesdropping, and that's like listening to people's lives. But I mean, <clears throat> you're in a subway, you're talking, and I'm gonna like document that somehow. So what would I like to remember for is that um, in every painting, um, I put my heart and soul to it and basically uh, whatever I go through in my own life or things that I see or be inspired by is through my artwork. Um, yeah. So my art Instagram page has been up for like six months. Um, so all my old work and new work will be coming out of my Instagram. I'm currently working on a website so people can buy original work and printed work also. So what advice do I have for struggling artists out there? Um, is to just keep grinding, work on your craft every day. And no matter what people tell you, um, even if they criticize it in a bad way, you always, you always, you're always, always going to have people that will try to bring you down. Um, also, don't have expectations. If you build a high expectation and nothing happens for you, it will probably make you feel like you can't, can't do this. So basically, enjoy the journey. And um, enjoy doing what you're doing because it's going to take a lot of no's before you get a yes. And soon enough, you'll be that artist you want to be. So what's next for me? Um, like I said, I'm coming up with a website um, to for people to buy original work and um, printed work. And also um, possible pop-up. I don't know when that is, but I'll be posting that in my IG. And also a gallery, possibly, next year also. So all that information will be in my IG. Um, so please look out. It's not a game, it's a rich thing.